Hey guys, in this video we're going to talk about how to set up a Bob Suite. Uh, so Bob Suite is very essential tool for penetration testing. So if you want to test, let's say, thick client, uh, web application, mobile application, API testing, uh, this is sort of like, you know, my to-go uh, tool for any manual testing. And the reason that, uh, you know, this is a really good tool because it has a lot, lot of features that you can automate certain tasks. Uh, but before going further, let's see like, you know, why do we need a proxy? So whenever you're doing a manual testing, you need to see the traffic that the client is sending and then your uh, the response that you're receiving from the uh, server. So uh, this is how the normal application works. And we have already seen like, you know, a few glimpses of it in the previous videos. But the essentially uh, when uh, when you have the client, so for example, your browser is your client. When you submit some values, it's going to go to the server. But before that, we need to, as an attacker, we need to inject some uh, value in it so you can perform some attacks. And that's why you need a proxy. So before it sends to the server, you will uh, you will intercept in the proxy. You will change certain pay, uh, insert certain payloads, then forward it to the server. And the same, likewise, when the server is giving the response, you can uh, review the response in the proxy, and then you can send it back to the client. So. Uh, it's very helpful for the manual penetration testing and that is why we need to see you know how to successfully configure this tool uh, as I said like you know the Bob suite has a very rich functionality of course this is going to be an introduction uh, uh, like you know video how to set up a Bob suite but then in the future videos uh, we'll, we'll talk about each of the functionalities such as like you know spider intruder scanner and then sequencer and encoding decoding and all all fun stuff that the Bob offers uh, now without wasting much time let's let's see a demo uh, so this is the website where you can download the uh, community edition of the Bob suite uh, they also have a professional version where you have like you know much more features unlocked such as scanner which is very essential like a web application scanner uh, but for the demo purpose we're just gonna do the community edition so you can also uh, all try it a home by yourself now as you can see there are a couple options uh, like you know one you can download the windows executable which is like you know easy to install just like any other software where you hit the next 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 and it will be installed uh, the second thing is you can also do the jar file uh, jar file is not only uh, like you know uh, easier in in terms of like you know I always do jar file because if you want to run it from command line if you also want to see some um, exceptions if there are anything or there, there are much more things you can do with the jar file than just the executables and if you click here there are also like you know uh, available for the other platforms like Linux Mac OS uh, so um, I, I just d did this one like you know the download the jar file and this is what I have in my download folder uh, you want to just double click and make sure uh, in your you have the GR installed and you have that uh, set up in the um, your environment variable I guess when you go to the my computer right click and, and go to the properties or settings uh, there are there is a way you can set up the environment variables I'm sure you must have done that uh, for other uh, you know uh, for PHP or any other language or, or your server as well now uh, here you can uh, open the existing project uh, or you can just create the temporary project uh, we'll just select that one uh, here you can also load the configuration file I, I have I have that for myself so for example if you have made some changes and you don't want to do that for all the projects you can load the config file from here direct or you can use the burp defaults now uh, we are just going to do from the scratch so I'm just going to use the default file uh, now it's gonna start the project and uh, then it's going to load the uh, main screen and this is you know the pretty much entire web suite so for example as I was talking about the scanner so this is not available in the free version but uh, I'll, I'll still show you guys uh, as I have the pro version but uh, in this one we are just gonna see how you can configure so uh, the first step that you want to uh, pay attention to is the proxy and then go to the options and you would see by default they have 127.001 and port 8080 so this is where the listener is running now if you remember in the previous video we talked about the netcat listener 
uh, where we deploy the backdoor and you know we were listening on to that particular port uh, same thing here uh, we you know we're gonna listen for any incoming HTTP request from your browser and this likewise you can also uh, listen any response from the server so uh, we have this one now what you want to do is for example you have app running in Mozilla then you want to go to the tools options and go to the very end where you have the network settings go here and here it says no proxy you can select the manual proxy configuration uh, you want to do like you know the same thing which is right here 127.0.0.1 and port 8080 uh, you can uh, define like you know a different IP address if you have multiple proxies but uh, I would just do this one so all the traffic would just flow by the bob suite instead of like you know separate proxies so you do this so and this way uh, now we have at least you know uh, set up where any traffic from the client side will go to the bar first and then to the server try to uh, you know access uh, browse any particular site and see if we can capture the traffic in the bob suite uh, before we do that we just want to make sure the intercept is on what it does is like you know uh, that means we are intercepting any request that's coming from the mozilla or our client so uh, so first thing i want to try is the non ssl side so for example uh, this one demo.testfile.net this is the test site for uh, learning the penetration testing or application testing by the ibm app scan now you see this one is keep on rot rotating because a request hasn't reached to the server and the reason is because it's been caught by the proxy or our birth suite so uh, this is actually here you can see what the host like where the request has came from uh, now this is from the firefox not from the uh, test file we're gonna hit the next now you see we have uh, like you know the uh, browser sent the get request for the host demo test file.net here you can also see all the details of course you would not be able to see this without any proxy so like you know for example if you want to uh, try the injection attacks in the user agent header uh, you can do that using the proxy so and that is another importance of like you know why do you why do you want to use the proxy uh, hit the next button now after you like you know forward all the traffic here you can see the website is loaded now uh, one thing you must have noticed you did not see any response and the reason for that was it's not by default uh, been like you know enabled by the uh, bob suite but here you have to kind of do the intercept server responses so for example let's say we hit the refresh button uh, we send the get request now you can see uh, there is a response from http demo test file.net and you also see the response uh, you can also of course render it so you know uh, how it looks on the browser you can also just view the html hacks or you want to review the headers and this is the raw data so this is how you intercept request and response so this was easy uh, the the tricky part is so for example uh, let's say you want to access yahoo.com now we hit the forward it send the get request uh, now we got the redirect message from the yahoo just to save some time what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna turn off the interface intercept and here you can see uh, our mozilla gave us a warning of potential security risk ahead firefox detected a security threat and did not continue to yahoo.com if you visit the site attacker could try to steal the information password emails credit card details etc and why uh, mozilla did that because yahoo is using the ssl certificate and when uh, yahoo tried yahoo domain tried to do the, do the handshake with the with our browser uh, with the with the mozilla it did not get the correct ssl certificate because the reason was the request was not directly sent by the browser there was a in between proxy and yahoo thought there is an attacker who is doing you know sort of man in the middle attack and that's why it gave the warning now let's uh, try like you know hit the advanced button and here we did accept risk and continue again nothing happened let's try again 
okay so now we got the Yahoo of course the uh, user interface doesn't look good and you can see the little yellow sign which is like you know it says the warning like connection is not secure now in yeah in this case you could at least you know load the site now for example let's try uh, Google so mail.google.com now here if you see there is no way you can even accept the risk and the reason was the uh, Google is using HTTPS or oh, sorry HSTS header uh, we'll discuss in detail what this header is uh, I really recommend this header you know to all my my clients and wherever I do the testing because this is a really good header to avoid any sort of man in the middle attack now thing is how do we test the HTTP site uh, like you know if we keep receiving this error so uh, for that what you have to do is you type HTTP then go to burp since you have it configured in your browser you would see this screen then go to the CSR save file download so it's gonna like you know uh, download here csr.dr next thing you what you want to do is you want to go to the privacy and security and then go to the certificates and go to view certificate then import import this one make sure you check these boxes click OK again and now you want to restart the browser so let's start the browser again and now uh, okay uh, let's intercept on and let's do first yahoo.com so as you can see we got the response from Yahoo let me turn off the inter intercept and then uh, we can see we have got the you know green light the UI looks good everything is good now same way let's try the google.com right so and now here you can also see all the history so uh, in the proxy in the HTTP history you can see like you know all the traffic that was sent and received or everything that the client uh, sent and the uh, received by the server so all the request response all the information that you can see here so as long as you have this burp suite configured with your browser you will be able to see all the traffic in here and also you can also pretty much like you know do all this uh, uh, editing so for example if you want to find like you know test let's say uh, this search functionality uh, of course you need to obtain the consent for consent from the client first but like you know for example you click the here and now uh, you know Yahoo would send the request and also whatever the uh, payload you type so for example uh, let's wait for the right request okay so this one search.yahoo.com here you can see we like you know uh, we sent the STF now you want to inject any payload you can do it here uh, again uh, I, I am not recommending you to perform any penetration test on the yahoo.com you can do on the test site so for example uh, this one HTTPS demo.testfire.net okay. uh, this is also available on the HTTPS so here you can uh, this is the demo site so you can do all sort of testing and learning on this one there's also a tool from the OWASP uh, like you know OWASP proxy Z proxy which is open source and it has like you know all the features unlocked by default including the scanner I'll also uh, like you know we'll also go through that one like how you can configure and use the OWASP proxy for the application testing but this one I just wanted to keep it uh, simple and for the Bob suite because I know it's it's the most popular tool and, and people I got so many requests that uh, how like you know starting a uh, course on how to do the buff suite testing with the buff suite so that's why I, I chose that one for this video but that's it uh, for now uh, if you if you like my video please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel to receive all the latest content and application security related videos thank you